me about curiosity. This is one of your favorite topics. It is. As we start to think about the events that uh, we travel through time, almost every single innovation, every single discovery uh, comes from the curiosity that somebody carried so intensely that they just had to get an answer. A scientist, for example, wanted to know how something worked and they would do experiment after experiment after experiment mm -hmm. to figure that out. Though they were incredibly intelligent, they weren't superhuman, they were just super curious. Right. And we therefore build a structure in our school in which students can enjoy and practice curiosity themselves. When a student asks a good question in class, for example, I do one of three things. Sometimes I can answer it quickly and move on with the subject matter. Other times I know that it's worth the effort for one of our students to figure out the answer on their own. Maybe not even the one who asked it. Just somebody who's sparked by it. And my favorite, though, is when a student asks a question and I have no idea what the answer is. It may exist, but I don't know it. And it might even be a question no one has ever even thought to ask. In any case, a good question gets validated, written on the whiteboard, and encouraged. To me, that's the difference between fostering curiosity rather than just teaching content.